Hello, in this video we're going to solve three problems that look at banks and the money supply. So problem one, uh, before the banking system people held 20 million dollars of currency. Then a banking system was introduced and people deposited half their currency into the banking system. The required reserve ratio is 20 percent. Let's find what the size of the money supply is. So People have $20 million, and with the banking system, they deposit half of that into uh, the bank. So right now, people are holding $10 million in currency, just half of $20 million. That means banking reserves, or just reserves, equal $10 million. So half of this money was deposited in the banking system, meaning banks have reserves of $10 million. We note here that reserves equals 0 0.2 times deposits that 0 0.2 rec represents the required reserve ratio. So reserves will equal 20% of deposits. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve for deposits by dividing through by 0 0.2. So deposits equals reserves divided by 0 0.2. And that will just simplify that deposits equal 5 times reserves. 1 divided by 0 0.2 is 5. What do we know? We know reserves are 10 million, so plugging 10 million into this formula, deposits equals 5 times 10 million, or 50 million dollars. The money supply then will equal currency plus deposits. Currency is 10 million, plus the deposits that we just solved for is 50 million, so the money supply equals 60 million. Let's move on to problem two. Uh, before the banking system, people held 18 million dollars of currency. With the banking system, people keep half their money in cash and the other half in deposits. The required reserve ratio equals 20%. How much currency do people hold? All right, one of the key things here is deposits equal currency. That's just coming from this, uh, this uh, question here. People keep half their money in cash and the other half in deposits, so deposits equals currency. And we know in this problem with, again, a required reserve ratio of 20%, reserves will equal 0.2 times deposits. Solving for deposits, deposits equals 5 times reserves. Okay, uh, currency. What will currency equal? Currency will equal this $18 million minus reserves, the amount that people deposited in the banking system. And since... Uh, currency equals deposits, I'm going to make a substitution here, since again currency equals deposits. For currency, I'm going to plug in 5 times reserves. Okay, so in this equation right here, because deposits equal currency, I'm going to plug in 5 times reserves. And now we got one equation and one unknown, and I'm just going to solve it for reserves. So adding one reserve to both sides, we got 6 reserves equals 18. Dividing by 6, reserves equal $3 or $3 million. And then just plugging this back into our formula up here, deposits equal 5 times reserves, so 5 times 3, deposits equals $15 million. And as for currency, currency equals 18 minus reserves. We saw for reserves, reserves are 3, so currency equals 15 or $15 million. So we found what we wanted to find, uh, the amount of currency that people are holding under the condition that uh, people keep half their money in cash and the other half in deposits. Okay, I hope you found that uh, question helpful. Let's move on to the last question. Uh, the banking system has $10 million in reserves with a required reserve ratio of 20%. People hold $20 million of currency. If banks start to hold 25% of their deposits as reserves, what happens to the money supply? So this is a, basically a two-step problem. We'll first look at this problem when the reserve ratio is 20%. So when the reserve ratio is 20%, we, which we've been using all along, deposits equals 5 times reserves. Deposits equal 5 times 10 million. Okay, the banking system has $10 million of reserves. So deposits are 50 million. We're going to add the $20 million of currency that people are holding, so the money supply is $70 million. With a 25% reserve ratio, reserves equal 0 0.25 times deposits. 
I'm going to solve for deposits here by dividing by 0 0.25. So deposits will now equal 4 times reserves. And with reserves of 10 million, deposits will equal 4 times 10 or 40 million. The money supply then under this scenario is the amount that people are holding, $20 million, plus the $40 million in deposits equals $60 million. So what happened to the money supply? The money supply fell from 70 to $60 million as a result of the required reserve ratio increasing. Uh, so that's the change in the money supply, $10 million. All right, that's my last problem. I hope you found this helpful.